In this video, we're going to discuss and create widenings for our offsets. So in order to start creating widenings for our offsets, we're going to navigate up to the home tab of the ribbon bar, and we're going to drop down our alignments drop down and select create widening. When we select create widening, Civil 3D is going to ask us to select an alignment that we want to create a widening for. What we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to create a widening for our two offset alignments in the corners and we're basically going to be creating turn off or pull out knuckles in the road. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to select my left offset alignment and Civil 3D now asks me, do I want to create the widening portion as a new alignment? No, I don't want to create a new alignment. I want to modify my existing alignment. So I'm going to hit enter and select no as creating for creating a new alignment. Now what Civil 3D is asking is, what is my start station? for that widening. My start station for my widening is going to be at the beginning of the curve and my end stationing is going to be at the end of the curve. What Civil 3D now is asking me is enter the widening offset. What you need to understand is that since this is already an offset alignment, it is basing what this widening offset is off of the parent alignment. So our current alignment, our current offset alignment that we're trying to create a widening for is already a 15 foot offset alignment. And what I want to do is I want to create a five foot alignment off of that existing offset alignment. So I need to enter a number of 20. So I'm going to put in 20 as my widening offset. And what you'll see happen is that I have now created a widening in this corner that is going to be 20 feet off of the center line. And so when I hit enter, a new window popped up on my screen and it's the widening parameters. And so you can see here, the offset is at negative 20 because left is negative and right is positive. So we have a negative 20 offset. And if I drop into these options here, you can see it highlights what we're dealing with in here. So we have our start station, our end station, our region length. So it tells us how long that widening is. And then it gives us our transition parameters and how we're going to handle these transitions. So you have options of curve, line, curve, 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 reversing curve, and curve, reversing curve. So you also have the option of doing a straight linear transition. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna give it a linear transition. It's not gonna look as pretty as a curve line curve, but it can be a lot shorter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this transition length be 20 feet. So a four to one transition. And then I'm gonna also set this transition length here as a linear, and I'm going to set it as 20 feet as well. So. And when I do that, what Civil 3D does is it retains, it actually retains the beginning of the transition point. So this, this point is retained. And when I shortened that transition length, it brought my length of my region out this direction. And then for the transition exit, it maintained my beginning of transition. So it brought in my transition back this direction. So it always retains basically what the beginning of the transition is as it reads along the stationing. So what I need to do is I need to define my new start station. So I'm going to go and select start station. It shows me a line here. I'm going to go ahead and hit this green box over here. And what that does is it lets me go back out into the window and display or pick where I'm going to make my start station. So I'm going to again, snap to the beginning of the curve. And you'll see that my transition updates itself so that I am from curve to curve and then I have my 20 foot transitions. So what we're going to do is we're going to move through this faster and do it for this corner as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into alignment, go back to create widening, select that alignment, hit enter for no. Then I'm going to pick my start station, which is right here. Pick my end station, which is here. And then I'm going to select my offset. So it's 20 feet. Then I'm going to now choose to go linear and to go linear again. I'm gonna choose 20 feet and 20 feet. And then I have to, again, select my start station. So I'm gonna go back into here, select my start station, snap to this point here. And my offset widening alignment has updated itself. 